Welcome to At Home and Abroad with Harris and Walker. Join us each week as we explore the far reaches of the globe in search of unique characters and stories to share. Reach beyond your front door and let's chat about art, architecture, history, real estate, and more. Let's jump in. Mexico, mariachi and mezcal, coronas and ceviche. The white sand beaches are exquisite and the people are some of the friendliest on this planet. Mexico's rich culture, extraordinary history, and unbelievably beautiful natural environment work in tandem to create the perfect travel destination. Let's just ask Harris what she thinks. Harris, how are you? I'm good. Yeah, where exactly in Mexico are you? I don't want to make you jealous, Walker, but I'm in the most beautiful place, Playa Mujeres. It's located on a beautiful strip of white sand north of Cancun on the Yucatan Peninsula. Wow. Well, you know, lately I've been feeling like we're playing a little bit of a Where's Waldo. <laughs> so, you know, if you use any of the words like beach, waves, margarita, and sunshine, I'll be honest with you, I'm going to be jealous. It's gray cold and damp here and I don't know if you've heard but we're expecting 10 centimeters of snow this afternoon oh. and 10 overnight oh terrible I know I know so remind me what are you doing in Mexico well I'm actually turning 50 again again yeah <laughs> where do I sign up for turning 50 again oh my gosh well I may be one of the only people that can claim this but it's a it's actually a long-awaited 50th birthday trip that was gifted to me by my family. And it just got postponed for a few years because of the pandemic. Right. Perfect. Delayed gratification is the absolute best. It really is. In fact, I had happy birthday sung to me by the resort yesterday. Oh, I love I that. Shall we do that here too? No, no. let's pass on that. <laughs> Yeah, my hubby, my sisters, my nephew, my mom, and I are all staying at the Playa Mujeres Finest Resort. And I have to say, Walker, I have traveled the entire world. Well, let's not say the entire world, but I've traveled a lot. And You're getting never, close. I'm getting, You're close. getting I'm close. close. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, but I've never encountered such attention to detail and to the guests happiness. It's perfect no matter what your travel configuration is, whether you're traveling in a large group or you're adults only, or you have little kids in tow. It's just the perfect getaway here. Okay. So explain what makes it so special. What's making this trip so great? It's hard to determine where I should start. I first want to say that we are not sponsored by this resort, by Playa Mujeres Finest Resorts. I'm just giving you the straight goods. Many might be familiar with the all-inclusive experience, but the finest resorts are really next level. There's beach concierges that prepare your day bed with plush towels and infused water, and there's even sunscreen, whatever you need. And we actually call it our beach nest because they're just so deluxe, comfortable under a palapa looking out over the, the beautiful turquoise ocean. And the and the staff are just so attentive. They're very discreet, but very friendly. We've really wanted for nothing. The room also is stunning, really spacious. We have a, a big, I, I think you could fit probably four people in our jacuzzi. And we throw some bubbles in there and sip margaritas and just listen to the waves below. Well, so that sounds pretty perfect. <laughs> that sounds like a lovely way to spend your birthday. You know what? I can't think of doing it any other way now. I think this has just got to be an annual tradition. It's so great. And and the food, I have to mention the food because it's just so fresh. The seafood is unreal. Even my husband, who is so discerning about steaks, he has loved every single morsel. It's modern, but it's also authentic and true to Mexican cuisine. And it's just, it's just been great. We did have one little unwanted adventure though, but the management handled everything outstandingly well. So what happened? Is everything okay? Yeah. My mom actually had a little tumble um, oh, pretty much right when we got here, but the response was lightning fast. And we all felt like we were in really good hands. 
I have to say that our most recent episode on travel and aging was pretty top of mind during that experience, but we were we were very well prepared as a result. This is really unfortunate. I'm glad it all worked out, though. So what's next on the agenda? Are you, do you have any historical sites on your schedule? Yeah, well, this whole area is Mayan. The ancient Mayan peoples inhabited this area and still do to this day. So we're contemplating a visit to the temple ruins on Isla Mujeres, The whole island, which I can see from the beach, was once a Mayan sanctuary and religious site dedicated to the goddess Ischel. Apparently, when the colonial peoples happened upon the island, it was only inhabited by the priestess and her female disciples. And so that's why it's called Islu Mujeres, or Island of of Women. Today, though, I think we're going to do a little sea kayaking and maybe take out a Hobie cat for a little spin if the breeze calms down a little bit. And Greg really wants to go snorkeling with whale sharks on the most world-renowned Mesoamerican reef system, which is only second in size to the Great Barrier Reef. Did you know that, Walker? I had no idea. You learn something new every day, as my yeah. dad used to say. That's pretty amazing. Now, I'm going to be honest. As someone who was traumatized by the movie Jaws, I really don't want to know anything about the whale sharks. But okay. please tell me about the hobby cat. Well, what is that? Well, it's pronounced Hobie cat. Oh, Hobie. Okay, yep. there we go. Not a hobby cat. Not okay. like, you're, you know, knitting socks with your cat. There we something. go. I learned something new again. <laughs> <laughs> and they're actually not, they're not sharks. Whale sharks are not sharks. They're, they're like big, gentle giants. They only eat plankton, but they're huge. Like they can be 30 feet long. I just worry about the ecological impacts of that kind of tourist experience. You know, it's, it's not always wonderful for the creatures involved or, or the ecological system they're, they're in. So I'll look into that one a little bit more before I agree to that. But a Hobie cat, they're just little catamarans. But I'll be relying on Greg's sailing skills. So I think I need your luck there. I really don't want to get dumped into the into the deep ocean. Yeah, because I wouldn't either. Have you indulged in any special cocktails? Of course you have. Of I'm course going I to have. ask you, although I know the answer. <laughs> well, there's been a mimosa with every breakfast, which is kind of decadent. But my new fave is an iceberg. Ooh, iceberg. Mm -hmm. Now, Mm -hmm. you know, you didn't have to leave Canada to experience the chilliness of an iceberg, but I bet it was delicious. So you're going to need to find out how you can make this. So when you come home, you can make us some of those as well. You got it. And I already have found out what's involved. It's a tequila margarita that they submerge in an ice cold soul beer. So it's like a shandy. It's really, really delicious, but it's very potent. So I don't recommend more than one at a time. I don't know about that one, Harris. I'll have to take your word for it. Icebergs, mojitos, mimosas, a little champagne here and there. It's been pretty special. Well, have fun soaking up that vitamin D and keep your mom comfy and get home safely. I will. Hasta luego, Walker. Adios. Thank you for joining us at At Home and Abroad with your hosts, Harrison Walker. Follow us each week as we continue the conversation.